Okay, so we have a four view right knee radiographic series in the setting of trauma. As we scroll through these, I don't see any acute displaced fractures, but what I do see is a joint effusion, and specifically we have something called the lipohemarthrosis. If we zoom in here, you can see in the suprapatellar region of the knee, we have layering high dense fluid with a fluid fluid level, and then overlying we have more of a fat density. So that is a lipohemarthrosis that indicates that there has been fat leaking out of the bone marrow into the joint space, and that implies an intraarticular fracture. So the first thing you should do when you see that is you should go back and really scrutinize the radiographs to see if you can see a fracture. If you cannot see one, you need to recommend further evaluation with either CT or MRI. This patient went on to get a CT. We have axial CT slices in the bone window. We've got redemonstration of this lipohemarthrosis here in the suprapatellar region. And as we go down more inferiorly, passing through the patella, femoral condyles, and we get to the tibial plateau, you can see in the lateral aspect there is an acute cortical step off. We've also got some increased density of the trabecular bone just underneath that and that represents impaction of the bone there. When we look on sagittal, going through the knee, we can see here in the lateral aspect, you know it's lateral because you have the fibula there. Again, we have an acute cortical step off with trabecular impaction just subjacent to that. So this represents an essentially non-displaced tibial plateau fracture at the lateral aspect. So the main point of this case is when you see a lipohemarthrosis that is essentially diagnostic of an intraarticular fracture, and if you do not see one on the radiographs, you cannot stop there. You need to recommend further imaging evaluation.